The top stories from ABC News, Australia's run of silver medals at the London Games has continued. Australian cyclists Jake Bobridge, Glenn O'Shea, Rowan Dennis and Michael Hepburn finished second behind Great Britain in the men's team pursuit. And rowers Kim Crow and Brooke Prattley took silver in the women's double skulls, which was also won by Great Britain. Disgraced Australian Olympic rower Josh Booth will be sent home from the Games following his drunken rampage at a London pub earlier this week. Mr Booth has apologised to two business owners after he broke their shop windows on a night out with his teammates. He blamed his behaviour on feelings of disappointment and frustration after coming sixth in the men's eight rowing. The United Nations General Assembly has voted to condemn the Syrian government and Security Council for failing to enforce its decisions. The 193-nation assembly approved the Saudi-drafted non-binding resolution, which expresses grave concern at the escalation of violence in Syria. And coalition leader Tony Abbott is struggling to garner support for tougher rules on foreign ownership of Australian farms. Labor and at least one senior Liberal have expressed opposition to his proposal. The National Farmers Federation says the coalition should support foreign investment in farms.